Hi, my name is Cyrus Eklund, and I'll be telling you about energy efficient ways to make an eco friendly stadium. So, we decided to take a stadium that's already been created and make it greener. We decided on Yankee Stadium. Right now, stadiums try to get their audience by putting on, by using energy, such as putting on the scoreboard, lights, cameras, everything. Yankee Stadium alone can fit 50,291 people. If they want to fill up their stadium with 50,291 people, they have to come up with an idea. And so they use energy. But right now, the energy they use is called fossil fuel. Fossil fuel is bad for the environment. It causes global warming and climate change. Not only that, but it is unreusable. My first idea is we could use solar panels. Solar panels can be put on bleachers and it could be put in a parking lot. Solar panels are a nice idea because they create green energy. Another idea I have is windmills. Windmills can be used when solar panels can't when it's dark and windy out. Windmills, can, when they spin, they create electricity. The, there's another thing that's called a kinetic footpath. Kinetic footpath was invented to, so that when people walked on it, they would create friction. You can put it on the ramps, on the stairs, and on the floors everywhere, so you have your fans helping you even without knowing it. Public transportation is something Yankees do good at because they have two subway lines coming straight to their building. But other places do not. And public transportation can fit a lot of people and can help with the environment. My final idea is that the kitchen waste oil from the restaurants could be used to be made into biodiesel. Biodiesel is a thing that is also eco-friendly. These energy efficient ideas could be help you when you have to pay the bills for your 50,291 people for the entertainment you've given. Hi, I'm Bob, and um, my, I had to manage waste. And waste is a big problem at Yankee Stadium. The Yankee Stadium alone produces 250,000 tons of waste a year. That's equal to 50 African elephants. That's about one every three games. Some of my ideas to uh, get the waste out of these landfills and get them and recycle and um, make a greener stadium is to comp when you go to throw away your food, you have compost, tear recycling, and recycling. The way that you would get the fans to, to actually put these things there is that you would use a scare tactic, like we'd run out of room in landfills, and that the, our Earth could end up like this, and it would be just bad. Another one of my ideas is the food that you have at the restaurants, um, usually at the end of the day, just gets thrown away. Instead of doing that, you could do something like have a compost ball, like in our greenhouse. Basically, all you do is you put it into the ball, and then you turn it, and it compacts it down the um, dirt that you could um, give to a farm, the farm could grow food with it, and then the, they could give it back to you. So it's an ongoing cycle of you getting food, and, the, um, and they can grow stuff for you. Thank you. I'm Ben Franco, and uh, I was working on architecture and design in sports stadiums. So the problem with sports stadiums is they take up a lot of resources. My idea is we can recycle materials from other stadiums and other buildings. Like we can recycle concrete and we can recycle metal and plastic. To recycle concrete, uh, you have to crush down the concrete and get rid of all the plastic and paper and all the garbage. You can also use something called green leaf bricks made with recycled materials like recycled concrete and recycled stones. So my final idea is to make the seating, we can use recycled plastic and scrap iron. These are the ways that we can make a sports stadium sustainable.